So welcome to the full moon full stop September 2017. Uh, I made my full stop yesterday and today I'm recording the video. Last night was the fullest moon of September and for those of you who don't know what it's all about I would like to share with you quickly explain what is this stop abbreviation you know there on the background on our apple tree on the apple tree that is growing in in this piece of land here. Um, so the Stop Mnomic is something, it's a tool that helps you to deal with a survival situation. So whenever you have the feeling that you are in a survival situation, do this stop. Uh, S means sit down, stop what you're doing unless it's really, really important. Create an environment where you can think, you know, kind of an environment of comfort, relative comfort. So think about your survival priorities. Are they fulfilled? Are they not? Uh, what is your situation right now? Um, then go to O, observe, um, make an inventory of your opportunities and um, possibilities and then make a plan according to the T and the O. So, um, a couple of years ago I discovered that um, my survival priorities are not covered, thus I am in a survival situation and uh, it doesn't look like it. I mean, I'm well fed, I have a fancy roof over my head but um, these survival priorities are not covered in a sustainable way. So um, instead of panicking, I'm doing this stop now every month, and I think it, to me it feels a really, like a really good thing to do. So yesterday I stopped, um, didn't go very far, just went outside of the house, um, didn't work, just took the time off to, to think a few hours. Um, do nothing but really think and observe and plan with pen and paper. So, and I want to share with you what kind of um, conclusions I came up with. I'm, I'm having a little paper here that um, helps me to remember. So, uh, I explained the name, um, what is the stop, and so, yeah, the survival situation I explained already yes still the case I'm still in a survival situation the food that I'm eating mostly requires more energy uh, to get it to my table than what it gives me back when I'm eating it so that alone is already a good indicator are you in a survival situation or not uh, there are a few other things related to our survival priorities that would be um, you know shelter uh, water, air, you know, all these are, you know, not very good quality, like my shelter will not outlive me and it will not go back to, to nature, it's not made of 100%, you know, natural materials and, you know, it takes a lot more work than a, than a, you know, kind of primitive shelter to maintain and pay and just that it's there, just to keep me warm, dry, safe. So, um, same thing goes with other priorities, like, you know, health and well-being, it's outsourced to um, systems that are out of my control, very complex systems, fragile systems, and on top of that, destructive systems requiring more than one planet. So if everybody would live like you know we do here in Finland, we would require seven planets about, and you know, already now, one and a half planets on, on, on average globally doesn't work. So something needs to change, and I'm looking at the O, yeah. So what do I observe, and um, in the previous, um, full moon, full stop post, I've argued or, or presented the idea that, well, you know, obviously we need to do something, so why not stop selling spoons, stop buying spoons, stop producing spoons. Why spoons? Well, spoons are very, you know, understandable. They're just the first domino. You know, I would love if, you know, some big player like IKEA would say, well, yes, that's us, you know, we see that, you know, profit doesn't work, you know, economical profit doesn't work, you know. So, um, we, we have more spoons than people, so we don't need to produce anymore. And the same with many, many other things. So, um, in this full moon full stop, I've been focusing a bit more on myself. I've been trying to figure out what is my gift? Yeah, what is my special skill, my quality? Where should I focus my energy to, to help with our global situation? Um, um, I'm in the moment asking this question from, from my close friends who know me well, ask what is my gift um, so that I can you know, focus my energy on this. Uh, another thing is, um, again, I realize 
uh, the importance, well, that's, that's going almost into plan, the importance of keeping a positive attitude, having a vision, and, and that's what I observe in me. I have a vision of a, of a future that works. I don't care if it's called utopia in my head exists it, it it exists and I feel it's it's you know the driving force behind my everyday being so that vision of being positive of being optimistic uh, probably the the number one priority in a survival situation is to stay positive and and start paddling and it, you know when you're in a in a sinking rowing boat and, and start shoveling water try to reach a safe land and in the moment I, I have this struggle you know is it okay to tell others please stop drilling holes in our boat um, you know I feel it is okay but you know it's not a popular thing to do so I, I try to avoid it and just try to you know paddle and, and, and shovel water so n the blame game I think is, is not the thing to do does feel good at least, you know, if, if you're being blamed and there are many ways why each of us could be blamed because we don't know what we are actually doing, where we fit in, are we more part of the problem or are we more part of the solution, so difficult one for sure, um, it's easy to blame, easiest I find is to blame myself but much easier is to to think positive about our future and try to make it good. So, uh, positive vision. And then what I observed is also that I should make my feelings my thoughts. So, um, sometimes wonder, you know, how to think. What is the good way to think? And I realized that on the on the last week and had a very very wonderful weekend with wonderful friends. Um, where for some reason I experienced this whole weekend to be really deep and at least from my perspective I would think that I re experienced the weekend as so deep because I focused on listening, I focused on asking questions, I focused on on you know just replying to what I'm asked and not too much more. Um, my, my dear friends if you were there uh, and you, you experience it in a similar or different way, please let me know. Um, so, I'm trying to think how I feel, think what I feel, make thinking and feeling something very identical, very close related. Um, then I feel that it has been very, very beneficial for me and my well-being in the, in the past month to, to wish and to wish to connect, to wish to connect with you know, the rest of the natural world but equally so with myself and other people around me through listening to understand through asking questions um, and then I had a very nice experience also on the weekend um, which you know I, I really don't care what you think about it well maybe I do care but um, I, I had the uh, nice experience where I wanted to connect to the place where I was. I was sitting on this uh, little jetty um, by, by a lake near at, at sun, uh, sun, sunset and I was thinking okay let's connect a little bit to this place here and I was like looking you know over the lake and I like well let's look a bit closer you know it's easier to connect to something that is closer build a, a relationship and I looked at you know the, the, the grass at the bank and Suddenly I realized, you know, saw from the corner of my eye, very, very close to me, you know, a little spider came out of its hiding place. Um, and it was looking at me and I was like looking at the spider and we kind of connected through our eyes. And uh, I was thinking like, you know, can I communicate with you? And in that moment came immediately the answer, well, you know that you can communicate with me. Uh, of course, the answer was not outspoken from the spider. It was, you know, in my head. And I really don't care if that was, you know, communication from the spider or if it was communication uh, or kind of a monologue inside of me. Anyhow, it, it, it's very helpful to find answers. Um, and and I love it. Yeah, I, I You know, it's, uh, you know, picking up a stone. Uh, uh, and it, it would be the same thing. Or maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Try. Um, so wish to connect, wish to communicate, yeah. So uh, then I was on a uh, leading a youth exchange. I was part of, of 
a youth exchange in Poland um, where water was the topic and I learned a lot about water and realized that water is really, really important. We are, we are 72 percent water uh, on average. Yeah, so we need to take care of our water. We need to share our water and love our water, love water. That's my feeling. So my plan from from this stop uh, to wrap this up here, uh, connect more with people, connect more with myself, um, keep visiting my sit spot in the garden and uh, solve this uh, little bit of a Facebook conflict. I, I see that as really a good communication tool. On the other hand, I have the feeling that I can reach a lot more through communicating with people face to face uh, in the local neighborhood, um, friends, family. Um, these contacts, these connections are not how they are supposed to be. They, they, they could be a lot better and I'm, I'm dreaming of this, you know, neighbors coming over asking if they can borrow, you know, something from us and, and they will just borrow something from them if we need, um, you know, be things or skills or, or other resources. Um, so if anybody wants to borrow spoons, we still have 32 spoons for three people. Yeah, um, you can even have them, most of them. If you come visit, please bring your own spoon. And I don't know if I should keep on posting these um, full stop, full moon, full stop videos. I, I would like to ask you to comment. Let me know what you think. Um, and you know why not give it a try. Um, make your own full moon, full stop with or without video, uh, it doesn't matter. I, I think the thing is that we are, we are in, in a very serious survival situation globally together and the solution and the problem is, is each of us. Um, but first of all the solution uh, and I find it very useful for myself to make the full moon full stop and yep, that's it for today. Have a, have a wonderful month, enjoy September, enjoy spring in the southern hemisphere, enjoy autumn in the northern hemisphere and uh, enjoy yourselves. Thank you, see you.